for Nintendo. And Nintendo's pretty happy to stay on the ground, but yep. we're going to see these platforms come into play a lot for Zang. The biggest thing you can do as Ice Pointers in this matchup is when you're chasing after someone who's platform camping you, you can't overextend over the platform. You always want to make sure you're retreating back to center stage because if you get caught in the air, especially off of like Falco Shine, Falco Down Air, it's going to be bad for you. Like, you are not going to have a great time. Ooh, oh. We'll pause break. We get the clinch. Ref says break it up. We're back to neutral. And yeah, Again, Zang is just, he's really, really patient. He's biding his time. He's, he's not looking to rush him foolhardy. Yeah. And look, you know, he, he, he commits to something, says it's not going to work, rolls out, get out of the situation. And there is one major downside to the slow Falco in this matchup, though, is they are very often not ready to get a hard punish. They'll poke, and they'll poke, and they'll poke. But at the end of the day, the risk-reward still drastically favors the Ice Climbers. One little touch, one little put you on the ground, get a tech chase grab, and sometimes that's your stock. And a minute of poking and platform camping just completely goes down the drain. Because you flubbed once. Right. That's why a lot of people hate fighting the Ice Climbers in general, but... I was like, that's kind of a magical forward smash, really. Going over Popo and sniping Nana. And hashtag Sopo? Hashtag Sopo. Guess so. You can't you can't underestimate the single ice climber. No. People, okay, the reason some magic happen. Yeah. The reason people think people play better with one ice climber is because it's so easy to hit Nana, you feel like you're doing good. You're just wailing on a level one ice climber. That's <laughs> all you're doing. You're just bopping a defenseless girl. You think you're a big man and then suddenly someone who can wave dash comes along and you don't know how to handle it. Someone who can DI too, that's a big part of it. It takes it can take an annoyingly long time to clutch out the stock against the Sopo. Right. And right now, Zhang wants to build percent, so any random hit will do the trick. But he doesn't want to commit, because he doesn't wanna doesn't wanna give up percent to just Popo. And let's be honest, if you get him on the ground and force him off the edge, Popo has the tools to kill Falco. It's tricky, it involves a bit of reading, but it can be done. Nice DI from Nintendo. Really digging it. Alright, yeah, but, well, that was supposed to happen, I think. I hate that Ice Climber death scream. I'm biased, but... Yep. You might be slightly biased, I'm sorry. Tiny bit. I just always get sad when there's an Ice Climber match and I'm not on the mic for it. <laughs> Someone goes, did he control Nana? I'm like, no, Nana oh, was dead, but he didn't tell her to do anything. You gotta, gotta let the character-specific knowledge rock. The Zangazen with the forward smashes. They are high priority. They tend to be safe on, even on block, even really bad spacing tends to, you tend to get away with push it. Pushback, yeah. And right now he's in such a position of control. And he's just gonna keep it up. I mean, he's going to top five for him. That time he feigned it and went for the back air, expecting him to try to cut him off at the pass. Yep. Right there he says, you know what? I could play near the edge, but I don't want to see if Nintendo is the new Mewtwo King. <laughs> I don't want to get thrown off the level and die. So he gets his opening, gets his poke. And now it's a question of back air. The question is answered. It's definitely back air. Yep. And in case you didn't get the answer the first time, uh, the teacher repeated it. Put it online in the PowerPoint. So you can study it later. Thank you, Blackboard. Shout out to Blackboard. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh, wait, we're still in there. Good fastball through the platform from Zangazan. Doesn't want to die. And I actually like the uh, up throw choice there, putting hand on the top platform. A lot of people will go for maybe for a down throw or back throw, but I All right. But uh, everyone how's your in, day? Everyone in the Evo venue who... Uh ...lane, take a look at these side projectors. <laughs> My day's going great. That's what <laughs> I love to see. But, uh, some... Oh. There's a major problem when you rely too much on infinites. Mm. And I... I spent years conditioning myself out of it. It's the reason Fly Amanita says he doesn't like to do it. It's because when you get a grab and you think, I've got to get the infinite, you wait for Nana to resync, and then you lose the grab. And this, like, priceless grab, which you're never going to get again, yeah, right. you just throw away because you're waiting for something that you're not going to get. But and you're the, poisoned to wanting it. And you have all these other options to go for with yeah. handoffs and things of that nature that may be able to do the job just as well. And, you know, a lot of... Uh, I've come with players I heard, especially the newer ones, have been getting some criticism because it, it kind of, they become one-trick ponies. They, they, yeah. they just have this one solid part of the punish game 
and then you know their neutral game revolves around it. It's, if they don't get it, they're not going to they're not going to have be successful at all. So. Yeah, someone who can someone spaces properly, someone someone who's just good at mashing and di in general. They're they're not going to let you get those those grabs. They're not going to sit there and wait for you to kill them. So now Nintendo is facing such an uphill battle. He's yeah. not going to be able to kill Zangazen off of a stray hit at this percent. Unless he gets, you know, something that leads to a fantastic edge guard. Yeah. But it's, it'd have to be something like a badly DI down smash. Mm. How's he going to down smash Zangazen when he's up in the air like that? <laughs> that, I'd like to see that. Well, I mean, he's definitely playing the clock right now, Zangazen. Yeah. And, well, yep. And right now, Zangazen has all the control. Ooh. That was, that was pretty tender for a moment. We were looking out for Zangazen's well-being. Yeah. Oh, nice forward air, though. If he hadn't gotten clipped by that down air, I can guarantee you he would have had that tech chase. Oh, but he's not ready to get that grab. And that back air out of shield is guaranteed on the forward smash, but the timing is tight, so... It's not really surprising Nintendo flubbed it. It's, it's a difficult one to get. And see, that right there. How are you supposed to grab that? That max range forward smash. You're never going to get it. But Nintendo was wave dashing in every time between those lasers, trying yep. to get some more room because look at the clock. He has yeah. 90 seconds left. And I want to give a big shout out to Nintendo. He went for jab, up, up air. Like a minute ago. He went for jab, up air. Jab calls the jump out, clips him with up air, forced him to the platform. But now he's got to fight. Now he's got to fight this momentum that Zangazen has. And the clock, 60 seconds. Yep. If Zangazen kills Nana, he's he's got the timeout. Pretty much guaranteed. That's that's pretty scary for Nintendo. That's a dead Nana. What's she gonna do? It's the back air. Nana's dead. Zangazen doesn't need to fight him. Doesn't need to fight him at all. He can just stand in his shield on the top platform right now. And this game's over. But he goes in. Oh, he loses no, no his way. jump. No way. Are you, wow. Seven minutes, twenty seconds later. You fought so hard for all that time, Zang. Look at him. Look, he's, he knows. He just had to run to the top platform and sit there. No, I, that was it. That's all he had to do. But he wanted, he just, he wanted that finishing hit. He just had one hit. That's all he had to do. Either way, <laughs> a good back air or sit on the top platform. And then he burned the double jump, got clipped by back air falling through the platform. It's the fear of the Falco. You know, when you're off the stage and your recovery isn't that good, you know your wings are yeah. certainly being clipped. And the funny thing is, is that for a second I thought Nintendo was dead. Yeah. But he did get the up B or the forward B back on the platform, so that was that was set. You yeah, know, that was good. But for a brief moment, I was like, "Why isn't Zangus installing? He could at least stall him out and live." <laughs> and I thought that was going to be a clutch ending, if, if ever there was one. But it wasn't to be. A nice thing in the Yoshi's, which is a great Falco level, but I don't know if it's going to suit Zangus's uh, style in this yeah. matchup. But maybe he just didn't want to spend another seven and a half <laughs> minutes on Dreamland. I know I don't want to. Now maybe he's going to be looking for some of those KOs off the top of Shine. Yeah. Well, the man, you I know deserve what? that. Once again, I, I got to stop questioning people's counter picks. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but uh, not if I'm the, the slow Falco, but you can just Shine Nana off the top. Shine Shine up B, kill her off the top, and not ready to mash out of that at all. So, um, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Um, I'm a, you know, I'm a classicist. I really like chocolate chip cookie there. We are... We are I just hit it hard. I also, I like anything with banana in it. Bananas are good. <laughs> Dig potassium. Well, we've got a video game to play. Let's yeah. let's go back to Sorry. reality. So happens when the wobbles go on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want a random piece of Icy's trivia about this level or not? By all means. That little slope, for whatever reason, is really rude about doing the up B cancel. Mm -hmm. You have to be super high above it to do it. And if you do the up B cancel just wrong with the ice climbers. Nana just sinks and dies. So you have to be way high above it in order to get it to work. And Nintendo, he was even with it. That would have worked on any other level, but it doesn't work on Yoshi's. He lost his Nana for no, for a very sad reason. No grab there. That forward B is extremely safe against them. They've got to be really ready to go chase after it. Right now, Nana, Nana and Popo are split. Zeng is going to want to overextend. I think he learned his lesson from the last match. From this match, too. That's what happened. Fourth or fourth match? When did Zangazen switch to Marth? <laughs> Probably worked because of the uh, the throw when not 
Yep, Popo hit Nana and bit of DI off of that, similar like the Shy Guy DI. Funnily enough, I mentioned Marth, but it actually works for Marth too. When he gets the dead weight, he often, he very frequently gets to tipper one or both of the Ice Climbers between the hitbox stalling and the dead weight off of Bro. But Zengazen, you know what, man? You can take him to Yoshi's story all you want, brother. I ain't gonna tell you no, never again. Oh, look at that, that's a pretty good start. Anytime you get percent on Nana and you can set it up so one hit will split him and maybe kill her, mm. it's, it's, get, it's, it's a good look. Good situation, yeah. Good call from Nintendo. Very just solid. Solid back here. Nintendo. He's willing to, to eat the laser and have Nana slide through with the wave dash forward smash. Right. Just to try and bulldoze through. And it's that's the sort of thing you can be willing to trade with, because the laser does four percent or whatever. Not a lot. I care. I didn't see that coming. I, I know I'm supposed to be the guy in charge here, but I, I had no idea. <laughs> Ooh, good crouch, crouch cancel from Zangazen. And uh, Nana with the Randall save. She's gonna get the edge. And <laughs> faking toward Nana goes yep. back to Popo. It's uh, it's, uh it's two v one as long as uh, half as long as last match. Andy, Andy won, so yeah. Glad to see it paying off for him. The worst thing for me is when somebody camps me, takes uh. six minutes of my life, and then loses. Yeah. I hate that. I'm like, why didn't you just attack me? We could have gone to, to Wendy's or yeah, something. We, we could have gone to Taco Bell, gotten some Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Uh, isn't Evo sponsored by Mountain Dew this year? And it's delicious, isn't it? That's nutty, man. Easily, it's Baja Blast. Uh -huh. Good point. The Quest Mox is here. So, Nana split up, but... Zang, he was expecting that down air to send her into the little pop-up free fall, uh -huh. which is why he did it. Otherwise, the smart play is just shiner when she's on the platform like that. Mm. Oh, Zangazen's got to be on his, got to be on his mashing game because not what, expecting it. Nana, that far away, no way that wobble should have connected. This should not be happening. But you've just got to be ready to mash against Dicey's. You've got to be ready to mash, you've got to be ready to DI, and that's why the biggest killer against this character is apathy. Uh, I was going to say inexperience, but yeah, getting grabbed and then just saying, oh, well this sucks. Like, that's not going to help you. <laughs> that's the wrong attitude. How are you, you going to win like that? Oh, that dash dance from Mike. He knew. Nice, got it. Does he have a tech chase? Ooh, I think I think Nana's biting the dust on that one. All right, so you know he's he's got an uphill battle, but as long any percent he tacks on right now, he's gonna be happy with. It. He forces Falco on the ground. He's gonna be happy with that. He gets a clutch down smash with bad DI, and Falco dies right this second. He'll be happy with that. Oh, well, certainly so. Zanka's in. He is really good at walling out that Soko. I wouldn't want to play him. Like this this looks like a nightmare to to brute force your way through. A little ugly, a little ugly there. A lot of rolling. We're doing the time warp. Alrighty. So, Zengazen gives gives Nintendo a lot of extra credit right there. Yeah. And, oh, he realized he was stuck without his jump, so he just up feed. <laughs> he chose the right option going to the other platform. Dude, if I could, I would hang that escape up on my fridge. Like, that was beautiful. That was just lovely. Would it be in crayon or? Uh, a lot of orange and red colored pencil. I like it. I like it. Oh, no. And Not again, the dash you see attack. Him, you see him do it a bit late. I mean, that dash attack could have been anything. Though. That could have been an air. That could have been an out smash. Oh, oh. hey. What are we, whoa. whoa. <laughs> and that's actually right. one thing I've noticed from uh, Nintendo when I watch him fairly often. Uh, a couple times yesterday, he was dropping them. Uh, same at Civil War, I believe. So The finisher? Yeah. Yeah, that is that is just no bueno. Because if you worked so hard to try and get that grab in the first place, even if they are at 120%, you still it's the exact same thing as being Sopo. You want to get extra cut it. You don't care if you're going to die at that point. You just, you just want to do what you can. And sometimes the other guy gets so antsy for a finisher that he ends up running into enough hits to kill him. And, and a what? Phantom Town Smash? That's like, guys, go back to the other end of the level. Get yourself some apple juice and recover. <laughs> this is... Looking goofy. Okay, there's a dead Nana, but he's gonna take damage. He's. I don't think he's in a. Pers he's a position to be making those kinds of trades. No, oh, and I mean, Popo was coming back with no regard. 
uh, to center stage. We'll have tons of lag after 4 me. Yeah, he's... But hey. You know, last game, what did he do? He two-stocked him. So he's demonstrated he can outplay him in neutral. So being a 55%, maybe not a big deal. He's just... He just... He can't crouch cancel anything right now. That's huge. He can crouch cancel down air, and that's about it. So he's got a... Ooh. I question that direct assault with the uh, with the down, down air. air. Yeah. But hey, ooh. Remember what we said about crouch canceling. Yeah. That percent you can't do it. Uh oh man, what have we got? I didn't even know if he was trying to mash out there at that point. Yeah. And that That's time he was, but it's not enough. He wrote. He could choke it. He could. He could. Never give up. Never pause. Never throw it away. Make him finish it. But I think it's over. I, I think you're right. It's over. All right. Well, there goes Nintendo. Well, Waddles, it has been fantastic working with you. All right, man. I think we're oh. going to tag out for the uh, noon shift. I see a D1 in the corner, and he's giving me a salute. He's looking snazzy. So I am ready to pass some other gentleman the mic. It looks like we've got...